Hello, my name is Katie Tricolello, and I'm a first year medical student at Albert Medical School at Brown University, a co-leader of Medical Students for Choice, a member of the Rhode Island Coalition for Reproductive Justice, and a former Planned Parenthood employee. First, I would like to thank all of the committee members who are graciously listening to us today. You do such important work, and I want to respect your time by keeping this testimony short. I'm here to speak in opposition to Bill 7313, addressing informed consent for abortion. As physicians, we are trained how to ethically and responsibly consent patients to medical procedures. We explain the intended outcome of the procedure, the potential risks and benefits, and answer any remaining questions that a patient may have. By legally mandating specific informed consent guidelines for abortion, the government is stepping into the middle of a doctor-patient relationship instead of trusting educated professionals to do their job appropriately. In addition, dictating specific <coughs> ways to conduct ultrasound examinations is an insult to the professional training of physicians. Doctors are trained to make appropriate decisions about what parts of the procedure are necessary, what parts of the physical examination are necessary for each patient before conducting a procedure. For the vast majority of patients who obtain abortion services, this includes having an ultrasound. Flexibility should be present, however, for providers to make exceptions if they see it necessary for the well-being and safety of the patient. Also, as a future physician and a woman of reproductive age, I find this bill's suggestions for offering ultrasound viewings and fetal descriptions offensive and demeaning. Women are capable of reaching decisions about their health care without the condescending actions required by this bill. Abortion remains a safe outpatient procedure with a far lesser risk of complications than carrying a pregnancy to term and most other medical procedures. The proposed legislation singles out abortion as different from other safe surgical outpatient procedures, therefore stigmatizing the individuals who choose to legally and safely terminate their pregnancy. Furthermore, the dramatic penalties for physicians who do not follow these guidelines could dis disincentivize them from doing this work, thus making legal abortions less accessible. From a public health standpoint, abortions must remain legal and accessible to ensure that our patients do not turn to unsafe termination options. In summary, I oppose Bill 7313 because I trust physicians to utilize their medical training and decide on the appropriate way to consent and examine their patients before a procedure. And because I believe women should reach health care decisions through consultations with their doctors and families, not through government mandates. Thank you for your attention, and I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Any questions?